What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage, the most savage automotive YouTube channel on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I think that's how that works. Anywho, um, so today we're getting back to our normally, normally scheduled program and we're going to get into a Copart walk around. Shout out to my dude, uh, Kevin Van Voorhees. I got the, uh, the uh, Slick Contagion Athletics merch on today. Uh, if you haven't followed or subscribed to his channel it's a good time go do that especially if you're into that fitness stuff so anyways uh with that said we're gonna go ahead and jump damn i keep putting y'all right into the sun huh? that's how that's how i feel in the morning i feel like this i feel like this in the morning man driving to the east in the morning that's how i feel sun right in my face i hate it anywho's let's go ahead and jump directly into it and get directly in to this walk around today guys and the first thing we have today is a truck i mean <laughs> oh man excuse me uh oh, not covid um <laughs> yeah we are out here uh in kansas and kansas oklahoma texas you're gonna see a lot of trucks it's kind of like the everyday driver and this damage to this one while some people might think this is really bad it's really just cosmetic we're looking at a fender the core support doesn't even look bad everything is right here everything can be put back on you know you're going to need a bumper that cover up top might even be able to be reused scuff it all up spray it new grill headlight assembly fender and it looks like the hood survived so it is listed as a run and drive uh the door does have a little bit of scuffing and stuff on it from bending into that fender but being that fender would have to be replaced it wouldn't matter it's a 2000 GMC Sierra. Now, depending, oof, depending on whether or not this thing will actually start, would be whether or not I would recommend buying it. I'm gonna try to squeeze in here so I don't have to put any pressure on that fender. Woo! Somebody was a smoker. Oh, she's dead. All right. And unfortunately, guys, this is one of the yards that there is no no jumps available man i have a feeling that this thing probably runs just fine it doesn't have any issues with its uh, ability to run it's literally just that damage right there so this this wouldn't this would be a truck if you're going to bid on it this would be a, a easy an easy rebuild so to speak an easy rebuild Ooh, that hood is kind of off center though i wonder if it got pulled or if it's just up it is kind of see how it's pulled away let's see if she goes up no she's fine uh-oh let me look at the front of this truck again yeah no i'm not tripping it might have got it might have got tweaked a little bit it might have got tweaked a little bit uh what engine is this is this the 4.3 or is this the 5 7 4.8 it's a 4.8 huh okay damn i didn't even know that was a thing i thought it was the four point oh was it a 4.8 and not a 4.3 am i getting that wrong i might be i might be thinking of my old blazer back in the day that had a 4.3 anywho's buckle that closed battery compartment things open she doesn't look horrible you don't have to worry about any active fuel management on a motor like this 4.8 though i don't know i'm a 5.7 guy in this generation but it's not horrible and like i said i think with some adjustment it'd probably be just fine man this will pro all probably be just fine eh, let me know what you guys think in the comments all right, guys, this next one is not something I would normally look at. But since I've recently... Let me hold this L. <laughs> this hold this L moment is brought to you by... Never mind. So, um, this Pontiac Grand Am. Like, 
I thought the styling on these when they came out were kind of cool, right? They weren't like, they didn't look like crappy cars, right? Ram Air V6, 200, and the fact that it has 203,000 miles on it and it's a run and drive shocks me. These things were known for blowing head gaskets. Like that was like, that was it. This was the thing that happened with these. They would just blow head gaskets. And this one looks like it came from a dealer. And it wouldn't surprise me if this one runs hot now. They were a pain in the ass to get done. This one is in pretty good shape though, for what it is. I don't know, man. I thought this was a cool little sporty looking car. I thought Pontiac really had something with this. <clears throat> Just the reliability on these things really sucked. They really sucked, man. All right. So let's get in here and see if she's got any uh, juice juice. I'm willing to bet she's probably got nothing, but... Oh, she might not have nothing, nothing. Hold on. Looks like the... Oh, that's why it's here. It's listed as a run and drive, but... That's not locked. What the hell? Yeah, the locking system has been screwed with. Okay, we'll try the last key. Because the other two keys did nothing. Come on now. Stop playing with me. This is a 04 too. This is the same year as my uh, GTO. Nope. None of the keys work. Wow. Well, that's why it's here. Oh, that is why it's here. Most likely. Somebody screwed with that ignition and now it won't turn. Now, I bet you I could probably force it, but that, nope. Not my car. I'm not doing that. Clean. I mean, she is clean. Look, I can at least take a look under the hood and see how she's looking under there. Let's do that. All right. Three point four. She doesn't look bad. To be honest, the belt looks good. Hmm. 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 Like a lot of this stuff up here looks fairly new. Like it's been worked on, so. This looks like this car probably also was probably garage kept because the way that this paint looks and whatnot and the fact that it's been, you know, it's out here in the Midwest and if it's spent most of its life here and it's not all ragged out, hail damaged and whatnot, somebody took care of it. Well, I mean, at least until it went to whatever dealer had it and it's been repoed probably three times or four times and then somebody probably just screwed up the ignition. So now it's here. 203,000 miles. I'm shocked though. I mean, it's a good example for 203,000 miles. I'm going to be honest. It's pretty freaking clean. That door's a little bent. You see that? Look at that body line. Look at that gap. wonder if it's been hit. But I mean, like the seats and stuff, like it's, I, I don't know, for 200,000 miles, this thing is really clean. That's all I can say about that. I mean, it's, it's in pretty damn good shape. Huh. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Definitely, definitely different. All right, next, guys, we have an old school F-150. I say old school. It's like a 90s F-150, right? Body rot, which is typical up here. I mean, when you're in Kansas or the Midwest, you know, they put that salt on the road. And if you don't, when you get home, I know it's cold, man. I grew up in Boston, but let me tell you something. My cars didn't rust. You know why they didn't rust? When I would get home, I would get my ass out. I would get the hose and I would literally spray my undercarriage, like literally get down on my friggin' hands and knees and spray the damn undercarriage and spray my body off. And you can hear my Boston coming out now. 
and make sure that my car didn't rust. You know, I made sure that it didn't fall apart. So, God, let me suck that in, man. Yeah, I made sure it didn't fall apart. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can see here, this rust. This isn't horrible for this year, though, to be honest. It's not that bad. All right? You could cut that cancer out and body fill it. You could fiberglass it. You wouldn't even have to fill it in with new metal if you didn't want to. And look, like you see, they started over here. They just mudded over. They mudded over rust. That's never smart but okay 283,000 miles oh wow uh okay sure like the whole door card is missing this thing's covered in dust it's just filthy but i will be honest ford did make a good truck back then you know like they they did have a solid vehicle oh, she's dead this is a 96, huh? I think this is right before that body style change, right? Yep. I liked them. I mean, they were reliable. I mean, you look at the mileage, 283,000 miles. I mean, these were not crap trucks back then. But then again, most trucks were made, you know, trucks were the ones that would run forever. So, anywho, on to the next one. All right, next, we have something that I think... You guys are gonna be like, what? I saw it on the list and it said a portion of, and I was like, a portion? I've never heard of a portion of a car, right? Usually they sell the whole car, right? I mean, that's, that's what I've always been told. I mean, if they sell the car, the car is sold complete, right? So it's all one piece. Well, not today. I learned something new. They're actually selling <clears throat> a portion <laughs> of a car. That's right. There is a fire damaged Jaguar XJL. And look at that, man. That is crazy, man. Say it with me. Toasty. Unbelievable, man unbelievable that's that's ridiculous fired just burnt burnt this thing all the way down this xjl sad though great but also crazy at the same time it's just kind of like damn bro i could still and this is the thing with the burned car like you can still smell you could just smell the fire from far away this thing burnt all the way through the floor and everything like you can see the wiring harnesses that were running down the frame over here running along the floorboards and whatnot all the wires running damn that thing was completely toasty like the temperature is starting to get here right now it's starting to get hot out here Woo! and yes it is early as hell in the morning and yes my ass is up this early in the morning 8 a.m out here filming cars i know shocking unbelievable hell has frozen over all right we have a couple of other interesting vehicles i want to show you guys today we got a couple of mercedes um, which i think you know there's one that's a fairly usually reliable um segment at mercedes and that's their suv and i mean the ml class uh suv and then uh i have an e-class i want to show you so we're going to look at those two and then we'll see what we're looking like on time and uh maybe we'll pick up another truck or two i know you guys somebody had asked me about this the last time i was here and it's just not up or available yet this old Toyota Tacoma. So for y'all that have been asking me in the comments, it's just, I don't know, it's just here right now. There's no information on it yet. So once there is, uh, we could look at it again. We could definitely look at it again. But let's look at this next one. Did I pass it? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, the Volkswagen. Yeah, what do you think about, maybe we should get this Volkswagen. No, psych. <laughs> Somebody... 
people that are new to the channel will be like, what's wrong with a Volkswagen? Look, man, don't play with me right now. Y'all could tell them in the comments or the, the live chat what's wrong. Damn, this one came with a transmission and a drive shaft and an intake all in the at a starter. Damn, what y'all was chopping up? All right, so this one's got a window down, it looks like, but they have it taped off appropriately. 2008 ML350, pretty reliable, if you ask me, when it comes to their vehicles. Oh, it was at Mannheim. So this was at a dealer auction already. The key is in here. I don't know if this one has the push to start. Nope. Woo, she smells like Badusi. All right. And she is dead as a doornail. Oh, I got to put you guys right here for a minute. Sorry to make y'all look at the windscreen. I got to put this key back in this little loop. So I can put it back the way I found it. But yeah, nope. That is a wrap. That is a wrap, wrap, titty wrap. On this one. Another way, I mean, you can tell if somebody maintained a car or took care of it. That's not a, that doesn't instill confidence when you see how nasty the carpet is, right? Cause this was at a dealer auction. So I mean, look, it's missing the headrests. So they tried to clean it up, you know, and then you look at stuff like the tires, right? Needed, needed an alignment bad. Look at how it's wearing the outside of these tires. See what I'm saying? And then are the tires matching, right? That's a Continental, right? This is a Firestone Destination. Now let's look around the other side. So that's like one of the very first things you can look at is what kind of tires does this thing have on it, right? Another Continental here in the rear, worn out. All right, so it had decent, so it had a, a, a front set replaced and they had the other ones on the back. All right, all right. And it's being shit, you know, it's basically a dealer that's running it back through or running it through here to see what they could get for it. So, yeah, I ain't mad at you. It's just a little dirty. And it's outside of what I would be willing on. I know where this thing looks clean and doesn't have a lot of dings and stuff on it. This thing's going to go for some pretty significant money. More, more than likely. All right, now this wasn't on my list. It wasn't something I was going to look at, but since it's here... These, uh, these RAV4s, man, are pretty reliable little beaters, man. And shout out to my dude, RAV4 guy. I don't even know if he has a RAV4. They, the internet says he doesn't even have a RAV4 anymore. I don't know, man. But uh, this RAV4, you know, green, you can see the paint starting to fade. Clear coat's gone on the hood and the roof. And it's a 1999. I mean, it is what it is. It is through dealer services, 252,000 miles on it. And, uh, I mean, the seat has a little bit of, got a little bit of a Taco Bell seat right there. You know, years and years and years of somebody just busting ass in the seat, you know. Let's look and see what she does. See if she has any juice. And she doesn't. She's dead as a doornail. The button is coming off the radio here, but we're going to be a nice person here and there we go snap it back in there we go now it's in there like it's supposed to look man if you ever come out and you look at a vehicle at the auction and you notice something basic that you could just snap back in or put just put it back on push it back in be it don't be a dick the interior in this is very clean man this is really clean it's a 99 mileage on it is 252 wow and it shows a oil change. <laughs> it's got oil change stickers from 2011 at Walmart and uh, Molly Automotive Group in Kansas City, 5W30 in 2014. I sincerely hope this thing doesn't have 250,000 miles on it and they haven't done an oil change in 40,000 miles. That would be bad. But looking at how the tires look and the rest of the vehicle looks, I think somebody took pretty damn good, decent care of it. I don't think it was uh, that abused, so to speak. Well, let's go. Oh, that is a GTI. Nope. Well, 
it happened the gopro overheated and it's not even 80 degrees out here yet though i will give it credit i have been filming for almost an hour so it could be the media mod and other stuff on it getting it hot let me check make sure my wireless mic is connected okay all right guys next we're gonna go look at that e-class that i mentioned earlier before we get out of here today and get into the live auction Ooh, look at that little chevy that's not completely bad that's probably all cosmetic that i mean i can see that frame rail bloop is like this but that's a good little piece of delivery car that's a good little shit car Ooh, look at the uh damn that's probably the owner whoever was driving it they probably went head first into it oof wear a seatbelt nah i won't but you should you know hypocritical note of the day all right so here is a uh mercedes e-class e350 to be specific 103 thousand miles and what's wrong with it well it says the gear shifter is damaged the windshield is busted uh it's on some kind of food stamp rims and there says a flat and somebody hit it in the rear here on the corner and it's not inspiring confidence what the inside's gonna look like yeah somebody had them thunder farts split the seat <laughs> i know some of them like the tk just say yeah i said that you know them big bertha farts in here man and she's dead as a doornail so i won't climb myself in there because that is nasty and you can see the shifter is literally innocent this thing is all ragged out and look the sunroof ain't even sitting up right this one is completely say it with me finished a wrap completely and utterly hell no <laughs> no the the valve stem caps though are kind of funny <laughs> you, know, you got the terminator terminator valve stem caps i see you they terminated your freaking car <laughs> i'm done oh boy well let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments i think it's kind of funny sad but funny terminator valve stem caps i don't think i've ever seen that I don't think I've ever seen that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the live walk around portion of today's video. It doesn't mean the video is over. Now we're going to go into the live auction portion. And what that means is, you know, one, this is where you get to walk around and kind of see what some of these vehicles look like as they've been damaged or had their own issues. And then we go into the auction portion. And that's where you can see how much these vehicles are selling for, how the bidding process works, things of that nature. If you're interested in what you saw here today, maybe you're new here to the channel, first of all, give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. But um, also go to copart.com forward slash TK's garage and sign up for an account. You can sign up for a guest account today. Um, and that'll let you like view auctions, things of that nature. And then if you wanna sign up if you want to bid, you can sign up for a basic membership, which I think it gives you like a thousand bucks in bidding power. And, um, you know, or you can go balls to the wall, go all the way in, as we like to say, and, uh, you know, get that full amount where you can, you know, bid on whatever the hell you want, um, like I do. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the live auction and see what some of these sell for. And then we'll wrap up here at the end. Bonus All right, time. Guys, so we're in here like swimwear. I'm getting my stuff going here and uh, we're getting in. And trucks normally, especially, it doesn't matter. North Carolina, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri. Those states, man, Sold. trucks go for a lot of money. Uh, at least at Copart. <laughs> These Camrys, 
You'd be surprised, man. I've literally seen it. I thought there was rules against cab companies buying salvage cars, but evidently not because they don't give two shits, man. They've, I've been seeing uh, a lot of local cab companies and, and cab companies across the border, like South Carolina, um, purchasing cars from North Carolina from the salvage auction uh, just to run them. And that's, I mean, it's a smart idea. You figure you're getting a car for a lot less money right you're not really having to really put out any serious money to uh, to pick up a vehicle that you could potentially earn a, a bunch of money from right and that's not selling it that's you know with driving it but as we can see here they are jacking this up boy 10 year old Camry they are, now the mileage is right on this one But the swipe along the side, I guess you don't care. I guess it really doesn't matter. You probably don't care if you're a cab driver, right? Probably don't give two shits. Oh, coffee. Much, much needed coffee. Bonus time. Seven grand right now. Seven grand. And here's the thing, though. You know, a lot of people will see what the odometer is and they'll bid. And they don't pull a Carfax or nothing before the auction. Sold. And you find out the car has been like rolled back yeah next nissan versa i don't know people like these cars man they're little the little crap little cars this one needs its taillights and whatnot replaced um not a lot of structural damage and whatnot on this one it's not bad 850 though what 180 see i mean i know the car market is insane right now i get it man i understand that the car market is retarded. I, I get it. It's it's going stupid as far as money goes. Sold. I understand that part. It's still to me though. I'm just like, really? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, this is not bad. Super cool. Hmm. Now there is a car in here I'm trying to pick up. Shout out to my dude, Red Eye Rod. He's also here on YouTube. Go go give him a like and a follow. Uh, go subscribe over to his channel as well. He had hit me up a while back looking for a Mercury Grand Marquis. They're great daily drivers. I've had one. New bidder. I had the, um, uh, the Marauder. The New bidder. Mercury Marquis and several Crown Vicks and stuff over time. And they've been, uh, they've been pretty great, great little cars, man. This is a hot cars. lot. This truck is not going for a ton of money. That's not bad. Oh, boy. I'm about tired of the weather, man. The weather right now is retarded, man. The The cover keeps blowing off. I even had it, like, strapped down. The cover keeps blowing off the damn Volkswagen out back. It's starting to become a pain. Uh, I know you guys are asking what I'm going to do with that as well, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, you got to go, buddy. That way. That way. Out. Nope. Bonus time. They're bidding this thing up, man, to insane, insane amounts of money. So Luckily, I had the door closed on the damn cover. I would have lost it. All right, the Explorer. All right, so we should be coming up here in a minute. We'll see if we can snatch this. Uh, See if we can snatch this grand marquee up for red eye rod. All right, we got that BS done. All right, we got the Explorer coming up. Let's get this done. around and I'm going to miss the damn car I'm bidding on. Oh, all right, here we go. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. 
6,200 is a lot, though, when you really look at it. Bonus time. With that damage? Nah. I don't know. Some people will say, well, TK, the retail on that thing's like 20 grand. I don't know, man. Sold. I don't know. Your watch item is next right, on the go. block. Damn, already? Uh, let's try. Oh, negative. Negative again, huh? Damn. 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 Oh, y'all are tripping. Y'all are tripping. New bidder. Come on, man. This is a this is a this is a six hundred dollar car, man. Wow. Wow, man. Wow. That's wow. That's ridiculous. New bidder. That's ridiculous. Twelve fifty. Like this is double what I expected it to sell for. I'm out. They're tripping. bonus time. Yeah, I bet it is bonus time. Come on, man. Let's bid it up some more, man. Damn. And are you gonna say, well, TK, it's really only a quarter of retail? No, man. Oh. Hell no, nah, man. Y'all are tripping balls. Yeah, I bet you this is gonna go for some money. A Honda. A Honda Accord. A sport at that. Even with that rear end damage. Yeah. 4300 That ain't nothing. That thing gonna sell. That's gonna sell. For sure. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> yeah. New bidder. The ridiculousness, man. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just blown away, man. Now, look at this. Now, this car... This car... Eh, it's not bad, I guess. It's close to a third of retail. But the repairs with the rep I don't know, man. Whew. Yeah, they're gonna keep bidding this up. They trip in the day. Yeah, I think the days of us having like super crazy deals and stuff that you'd see are done. And that's it kind of sucks. <laughs> it kinda Bonus sucks, time. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Those of us that have been here from the early days bidding, getting them $300, you know, eight grand cars. <laughs> man, those were the days, man. $4,700. Going once. Going twice. Nope. Who's it going to be? So. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys, uh, did you think, I, I mean, the Grand Marquis was definitely interesting to me. I definitely wanted it. There was also some cool stuff on the yard that we got to see today. Um, but, you know, there it is. Got to give a major shout out and a major thank you to the sponsor of today's video. That's Los Mobile. Los Mobile is a, a great wireless service that can give you like postpaid access to AT&T at prepaid prices. That means your iPad, your hotspot, your phone, the whole nine. You can go check out all the plans and everything that they offer at LosMobileUSA.com. Shout out to my dude, Carlos, another former, or not, I was going to say former, another fellow BMW enthusiast. He's a CEO out there in Las Vegas and has this awesome uh, wireless company that he's building out there. And I love to support small businesses. And today's video is also brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee. That's right. Black Rifle Coffee, you know, veteran owned, operated. A lot of veterans work there. I highly, highly, highly love and support the product. No, it's not beer. It's actually coffee now. And um, <laughs> I truly I truly appreciate them and Los Mobile for powering today's video. 
Uh, again, guys, lots of crazy stuff going on. Lots of content coming soon. You know, I told you we we're going to get some of these Copar walkarounds back in. I have two new projects in the backyard. You might have heard me having to go out and cover one. I got two new projects that came in. One of them is uh, this based. <laughs> the other one um, is something I've never done before. Uh, but I'm sure my Mopar fans and community are going to be excited to see that I got one. With that said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys very much. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.